20 actors who destroyed their entire careers in seconds. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we explore the careers of 20 actors who saw their promising futures crumble in an instant due to scandals, controversies, and personal missteps. Discover how their actions led to dramatic falls from grace. Paz de la Huerta Paz de la Huerta, an American actress born on September 3, 1984, is currently 39 years old. She was once predicted to become a major star in the entertainment industry, gaining attention for her striking roles and eccentric personal behavior. During her time on the television show Boardwalk Empire, she developed a reputation as a party girl with a wild lifestyle. One of the notable incidents in De La Huerta's career was when she allegedly entered a sauna covered in honey. This bizarre behavior, coupled with her erratic and unprofessional conduct on set, made her a focal point of controversy. The peak of her career's decline occurred when TMZ captured footage of her extremely drunk at the Golden Globes, where she even slipped and fell. Moreover, De La Huerta was arrested for assault after allegedly throwing a glass and punching someone in the face. Reports of her being problematic on set, showing up in unstable conditions and being unprofessional led to her being fired from Boardwalk Empire. Following this, her career never recovered, and she gradually faded from the spotlight. Tanya Harding Tanya Harding born on November 12, 1970, is an American former figure skater whose career was overshadowed by scandal. She is currently 53 years old. Harding was the first American woman to successfully land a triple axel in competition, marking her as a prominent figure in the skating world. However, her career took a dramatic turn in 1994 when she was implicated in an attack on her rival, Nancy Kerrigan. In January 1994, just before the U.S. Figure Skating Championships, Kerrigan was struck on the leg with a police baton by an assailant hired by Harding's ex-husband, Jeff Galuli, and his associate. The attack was intended to remove Kerrigan from the competition, thus improving Harding's chances. Although Harding denied prior knowledge of the plot, she admitted to learning about it after the fact. To avoid jail time, Harding pled guilty to conspiracy to hinder prosecution, resulting in a $160,000 fine, community service, and a lifetime ban from figure skating. This scandal not only ended her professional skating career, but also severely damaged her public image. Harding's involvement in the attack remains one of the most infamous moments in sports history, overshadowing her athletic achievements. Rebecca Gayhart. Rebecca Gayhart, born on August 12, 1971, is an American actress who experienced significant setbacks in her career due to a tragic incident. Currently 52 years old, Gayhart was best known for her roles in the television series Beverly Hills, 90210, and the film Jawbreaker. Her promising career, however, was dramatically altered in 2001. In June 2001, Gayhart was involved in a car accident that resulted in the death of a nine-year-old boy who was crossing the street. Other cars had stopped to let the boy cross, but Gayhart, failing to stop, struck him. This incident was deemed a result of her negligence. Gayhart settled a wrongful death lawsuit with the boy's family, but the damage to her reputation and career was substantial. Following the accident, Gayhart faced significant public and professional backlash. Her career never fully recovered as she was relegated to minor guest starring roles in various television shows. Despite her earlier successes, the tragedy overshadowed her achievements and left a lasting impact on her life and career. The Dixie Chicks the Dixie Chicks, now known as The Chicks, are an American country music group consisting of Natalie Maines, Marty McGuire, and Emily Strayer. They enjoyed immense success in the late 1990s and early 2000s with hits like Wide Open Spaces. However, their career took a major hit in 2003 due to a political statement made by Maines. During a concert in London, Maines criticized then-President George W. Bush and the Iraq War, saying, 
We're ashamed the President of the United States is from Texas. This comment sparked immediate backlash, especially from their conservative country music fan base. As a result, they faced boycotts, radio bans, and public protests. Despite the backlash, the Dixie Chicks stood by their views and addressed the incident in their music, notably in their Grammy-winning album, Taking the Long Way. The controversy significantly impacted their career, but they continue to make music and have regained some public support over time. Jennifer Grey Jennifer Grey, born on March 26, 1960, is an American actress best known for her roles in iconic films like Dirty Dancing and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. She is currently 64 years old. Grey's career was on the rise in the 1980s, and her distinctive appearance, particularly her unique nose, made her stand out in Hollywood. In 1989, Grey decided to undergo a nose job, believing it would enhance her career prospects. However, the surgery drastically changed her appearance, making her virtually unrecognizable. This significant change had an unintended consequence. It diminished her distinctive look, and as a result, her career opportunities dwindled. She famously remarked that she went in the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. Despite her talent and past success, the nose job led to a sharp decline in her acting roles, and her career never regained its former momentum. Jennifer Grey remains a poignant example of how altering one's appearance can unexpectedly impact a career in Hollywood. Tila Tequila Tila Tequila, born on October 24, 1981, is an American television and social media personality currently 42 years old. She gained fame in the mid-2000s, primarily through her presence on MySpace, where she became one of the most popular personalities. Her online success led to a reality TV show on MTV, A Shot at Love with Tila Tequila, which further boosted her public profile. However, her career took a nosedive due to several controversial actions and statements. In 2013, Tequila posted an article on her website expressing sympathy for Adolf Hitler and posted photos of herself in Nazi memorabilia. This shocking behavior led to widespread condemnation and damaged her public image severely. Her attempt to revive her career by participating in the UK reality show Celebrity Big Brother in 2015 was cut short when she was removed from the house after only one day due to her past controversial statements. These incidents, combined with other erratic behavior, have left Tila Tequila with a tarnished reputation and a largely diminished presence in the entertainment industry. Congratulations on completing one three of this exploration journey. If you enjoyed this video, please comment one, otherwise comment zero. We will use this feedback to evaluate and improve our content. Thank you. Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes, born on April 3, 1986, is an American actress who rose to fame as a child star on Nickelodeon's The Amanda Show and later in films like She's the Man and What a Girl Wants. Currently 38 years old, Bynes was known for her comedic talent and bright future in Hollywood. However, her career took a significant downturn in the early 2010s due to a series of personal and legal issues. Bynes struggled with substance abuse, which led to several run-ins with the law including DUI arrests and hit-and-run incidents. Her erratic behavior became highly publicized, especially through her bizarre tweets and public appearances. In 2013, Bynes was placed under a psychiatric hold after setting a fire in a stranger's driveway. She was subsequently diagnosed with bipolar disorder and has since been under the care of her parents. Despite brief attempts to return to the public eye, her acting career has remained on hold as she continues to focus on her mental health and recovery. Amanda Bynes' journey serves as a stark reminder of the pressures and challenges faced by child stars in the entertainment industry. Paula Dean. 
Paula Dean, born on January 19, 1947, is an American celebrity chef and television personality known for her Southern cooking. Currently 77 years old, Dean built a successful career with her cooking shows, cookbooks, and restaurants. She became a beloved figure on the Food Network, known for her charming personality and indulgent recipes. However, Dean's career suffered a significant blow in 2013 when it was revealed that she had used racial slurs in the past. During a deposition for a lawsuit, Dean admitted to using the N-word, which led to widespread outrage and condemnation. The fallout was swift and severe. The Food Network dropped her, and several of her endorsement deals were terminated. Despite issuing public apologies, Dean struggled to regain her former standing in the culinary world. While she continues to work in the food industry, her reputation has been irreparably damaged, and she remains a controversial figure. Paula Dean's fall from grace highlights the impact that personal conduct can have on a public career. Kathy Griffin Kathy Griffin, born on November 4, 1960, is an American comedian and actress known for her bold and often controversial humor. Currently 63 years old, Griffin gained fame for her stand-up comedy and her reality show, Kathy Griffin, My Life on the D-List, which won her two Emmy Awards. However, Griffin's career took a dramatic downturn in 2017 when she posed for a photograph holding a fake decapitated head resembling then-President Donald Trump. The image sparked widespread outrage, leading to her being fired from her longtime hosting gig at CNN's New Year's Eve broadcast and facing a public backlash. The incident also resulted in Griffin being investigated by the Secret Service and experiencing significant professional fallout, including canceled shows and lost endorsements. Despite the backlash, Griffin stood by her actions and later retracted her apology, arguing that the punishment she faced was excessive. In the years since, Griffin has attempted to rebuild her career through stand-up tours and public appearances, but she remains a polarizing figure. The controversy significantly impacted her career and public perception, illustrating the risks and repercussions of pushing the boundaries of comedy. Wesley Snipes Wesley Snipes, born on July 31, 1962, is an American actor, film producer, and martial artist, currently 61 years old. He rose to fame in the late 1980s and 1990s with roles in films like Blade, Demolition Man, and White Man Can't Jump. Known for his charismatic performances and action star persona, Snipes became a prominent figure in Hollywood. However, Snipes' career was significantly derailed due to legal issues involving tax evasion. In 2008, he was found guilty of willfully failing to file federal income tax returns for three years. His tax evasion was so serious that he was sentenced to three years in prison and ordered to pay back $17 million in taxes, fines, and penalties. This prison sentence interrupted his acting career and damaged his professional reputation. After serving his time, Snipes attempted to return to Hollywood but faced difficulties regaining his former status. Despite these challenges, he has continued to work in the industry, appearing in films and television projects. Wesley Snipes' legal troubles highlight how off-screen issues can profoundly affect an actor's career and public image. CeeLo Green CeeLo Green, born on May 30, 1975, is an American singer, songwriter, and actor, currently 48 years old. He gained prominence in the music industry in the 2010s with hits like Crazy as part of Gnarls Barkley and his solo single Forget You. Green also expanded his career into television, becoming a judge on The Voice. However, Green's career faced significant setbacks due to legal and personal controversies. In 2012, he was accused of sexual assault leading to a criminal investigation. Although he avoided jail time by pleading no contest to drug charges, the real damage came from his subsequent comments on social media. 
Green made highly controversial statements on Twitter, suggesting that unconscious individuals cannot be raped, which sparked widespread outrage and condemnation. These remarks led to his removal from The Voice and cancellations of his planned performances at various festivals. Since then, Green has kept a lower profile, struggling to regain his former level of popularity and public trust. CeeLo Green's career illustrates how personal conduct and public statements can severely impact a celebrity's professional trajectory. Robert Blake Robert Blake, born on September 18, 1933, was an American actor best known for his roles in the TV series Beretta and the film In Cold Blood. He passed away in 2023 at the age of 89. Blake had a career that spanned decades, transitioning from a child star in the Our Gang comedies to a respected adult actor. However, his career and personal life were overshadowed by the highly publicized murder case involving his wife, Bonnie Lee Backley, in 2001. Backley was found shot to death in Blake's car outside a restaurant where the couple had just dined. Blake claimed he had left her in the car to retrieve a gun he had left in the restaurant and upon returning found her dead. Blake was arrested and charged with her murder in 2002, with the prosecution arguing that he had solicited two stuntmen to kill Backley. After a lengthy trial, he was acquitted of the criminal charges in 2005, but was later found liable for her death in a civil trial, resulting in a $30 million judgment against him. Alan Carr Alan Carr, born on May 27, 1937, was an American producer and manager known for his work in film, television, and theater. He passed away in 1999 at the age of 62. Carr gained fame in the entertainment industry for producing the hit musical Grease and the 1983 film adaptation of the Broadway musical La Cage aux Folles. His flair for marketing and his extravagant personality made him a notable figure in Hollywood. However, Carr's career took a significant hit due to the disastrous production of the 1989 Academy Awards ceremony. As the producer of that year's Oscars, he made the controversial decision to open the show with a highly criticized musical number featuring Snow White, played by actress Eileen Bowman and actor Rob Lowe. The performance was widely panned, with critics calling it embarrassing and out of touch. The Hollywood Reporter described the number as a nightmare, and the New York Times labeled it one of the worst moments in Oscar history. The backlash from this production severely damaged Carr's reputation in the industry. Despite his previous successes, he struggled to regain his former status and never fully recovered from the debacle. Alan Carr's story serves as a reminder of how a single high-profile misstep can overshadow a successful career in the entertainment world. Aaron Hernandez Aaron Hernandez, born on November 6, 1989, was an American football tight end who played for the New England Patriots in the NFL. He passed away in 2017 at the age of 27. Hernandez was a rising star in professional football, known for his talent on the field and his promising future in the sport. He even signed a $40 million contract extension with the Patriots in 2012. However, Hernandez's life and career took a drastic turn in 2013 when he was arrested and charged with the murder of Odin Lloyd, a semi-professional football player. The investigation revealed a series of troubling behaviors and connections to other violent incidents. In 2015, Hernandez was found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. While serving his sentence, Hernandez was also linked to a double homicide that occurred in 2012. Although he was acquitted of those charges in 2017, his reputation and career were irreparably damaged. Tragically, on April 19, 2017, Hernandez was found dead in his prison cell, having taken his own life. Brendan Fraser Brendan Fraser, born on December 3, 1968, is a Canadian-American actor currently 55 years old. 
He rose to fame in the 1990s and early 2000s with roles in films like The Mummy Trilogy and George of the Jungle. Fraser was known for his charisma and versatility in both action and comedy. However, his career declined in the late 2000s due to multiple factors. Physical injuries from stunts required several surgeries, and personal challenges, including a divorce and his mother's death, added to his struggles. In 2018, Fraser revealed he was sexually assaulted in 2003 by a Hollywood Foreign Press Association member, leading to feelings of being blacklisted. Recently, Fraser has experienced a resurgence, dubbed the Renaissance. He has taken on roles in television and film, receiving critical acclaim. Despite setbacks, Brendan Fraser's story is one of resilience, showing his ability to overcome challenges and revive his career. Michael Richards Michael Richards, born on July 24, 1949, is an American actor and comedian currently 74 years old. He is best known for his role as Cosmo Kramer on the hit television show Seinfeld, which earned him widespread acclaim and several awards. However, Richards' career took a significant hit in 2006 during a stand-up comedy performance at the Laugh Factory in Los Angeles. After being heckled by audience members, Richards responded with a tirade that included racist slurs. The incident was recorded and widely circulated, leading to public outrage and severe backlash. Following the incident, Richards attempted to apologize on The Late Show with David Letterman, but his career never fully recovered. He has since kept a relatively low profile with only a few appearances in television and film, such as roles on Curb Your Enthusiasm and Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. The incident at the Laugh Factory remains a defining moment in Richards' career, overshadowing his previous success and significantly impacting his reputation in the entertainment industry. Brian Williams Brian Williams, born on May 5, 1959, is an American journalist currently 65 years old. He gained prominence as the anchor of NBC Nightly News, where he was respected for his reporting and received numerous awards throughout his career. However, Williams's career faced a major setback in 2015 when it was revealed that he had fabricated a story about being in a helicopter that was hit by RPG fire during the Iraq War in 2003. The false claim, which he had repeated on multiple occasions, led to widespread criticism and a loss of trust among viewers and colleagues. As a result, NBC suspended Williams for six months without pay. He was eventually demoted and reassigned to MSNBC, where he served as the anchor for The Eleventh Hour with Brian Williams. Despite his efforts to rebuild his career, the incident significantly tarnished his reputation. Williams' career serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of integrity and accuracy in journalism, demonstrating how a single falsehood can have long-lasting effects on one's professional life. Paul Rubens Paul Rubens, born on August 27, 1952, was an American actor, comedian, and writer best known for his character, Pee Wee Herman. Rubens rose to fame in the 1980s with Pee Wee's Playhouse, a beloved children's television show, and the film Pee Wee's Big Adventure. His quirky, childlike persona made him a cultural icon. However, Rubens' career suffered a major setback in 1991 when he was arrested for indecent exposure in an adult theater. The scandal led to the removal of Pee Wee Herman toys from store shelves and a hiatus from the spotlight. His reputation took another hit in 2002 when he was charged with possessing obscene material, although these charges were later dropped. Despite these controversies, Rubens made a comeback in the 2010s, reprising his iconic character in Pee-wee's Big Holiday, a Netflix film released in 2016. The film received positive reviews, helping to restore some of his public image. Rubens passed away in 2023 at the age of 70, but he left a lasting legacy with his unique and memorable character, Pee-wee Herman. 
Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe, born on March 17, 1964, is an American actor currently 60 years old. He gained fame in the 1980s as a member of the Brat Pack, starring in films like The Outsiders, St. Elmo's Fire, and About Last Night. Lowe became a teen heartthrob and enjoyed a successful early career in Hollywood. However, Lowe's career faced a significant scandal in 1988 when a sex tape involving him and two women, one of whom was underage, was leaked. The incident resulted in legal issues and damaged his public image. Although he did not face legal repercussions due to the age of consent in Georgia, his reputation suffered considerably. Despite this setback, Lowe managed to revive his career in the 1990s and 2000s. He starred in popular television shows such as The West Wing, where he played Sam Seaborn, and Parks and Recreation, where he portrayed Chris Traeger. His performances were well received, and he regained much of his former popularity. Jared Fogle Jared Fogel, born on August 23, 1977, is an American former spokesperson for Subway restaurants. He gained fame in the early 2000s for losing a significant amount of weight by eating Subway sandwiches, which led to a successful marketing campaign and made him a well-known figure. However, Fogel's career and public image were completely destroyed in 2015 when he was charged with possessing child pornography and traveling to engage in illicit sexual conduct with a minor. The investigation revealed that Fogel had been involved in these activities for several years. He pleaded guilty to the charges and was sentenced to 15 years in federal prison. Following his arrest and conviction, Subway immediately severed all ties with Fogel, and his name became synonymous with disgrace and criminal behavior. His downfall was not only a personal catastrophe, but also a major public relations crisis for Subway, although the company distanced itself from him as quickly as possible. Thank you all for being among those who stayed till the end of the video, comment too, so we can see you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Famous People channel for more insightful content. We appreciate your participation and look forward to sharing more engaging stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.